Coming right up is Indie News number 71, and we've got stories on. George R.R. R. Martin's Song of Fire and Ice is being adapted and expanded over Dynamite. We've also got stories on yet another Green Hornet sequel at Dynamite. We've got stories on the ill-fated Kids Magazine over at Boom. 30 Days of Night's getting a sequel, and The Strange Case of Mr. Hyde. <laughs> All that coming right up. Here at Alternate Reality, less is always more, because all new comics are always 15% off here at Alternate Reality. Every day for every one. Unlike other stores, I have knocked 15% off the cover price of every new comic that's ever walked out the door here, going all the way back to when I first opened in 1994. So why shop anywhere else when you can come down here and save 15% off every day for every one at Alternate Reality. All the secrets of the Indie Alley exposed by Comic Book Man and Bo. Independent Comic Book News, Episode 71, Raven Station. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. It's time for... A tickle fight. What time is it? Fights. It's indie news time. Indie news. <laughs> indie news. What the hell's wrong with coming you? To you from Why are you so violent? Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111th and are Kensington, you Kadafi? Temple, downtown Monk. <laughs> Alternate reality. Where's my umbrella? Right. Where's my umbrella? That's an active now. You're just freaking <laughs> Kadafi. They wanted to pose, yeah, they wanted to pose you, man. Hunter Lovett and Kenzie and Mount Greenwood, where all new comics are 15% off every day for everyone. Joining us for Indie News is... Who's here? Good old oh, JR. Yeah, JR. How did he get in it's here? Big Daddy Darn Garlicks is in the back. Yeah, he's big exactly. Daddy Green Walls, ride, ride, ride. First story up is Dynamite News. we got some Dynamite News for you, kids. Dynamite. It's just Dynamite. George R. R. Martin's Ooh, R. fantasy R. 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 series, R. R. A Song of Ice and Fire, is being adapted by Dynamite. Dynamite, it's, the, the series will start. It's an ongoing series. It'll start the same month as the HBO's Game of Thrones <gasps> HBO series. So it's like April 23rd. So now are, like the, are, are these related to each other? I oh, mean, outside of George R. R. Martin. Actually, yes, are they, they are related. The entire okay. series yeah. of books is called Song of Fire, yeah, or yeah, Ice yeah, and Fire. Yeah. Okay. And as a side note, yeah. Dynamite is not dumb here, no. because I just read a piece today that the novels of George R. R. Martin's mm -hmm, Song of mm -hmm. Fire and Ice have spiked tremendously in sales because yeah. of the upcoming, not even aired yet, and they've spiked it. I mean, I've watched the, the commercial people, people the commercial won't finish okay. the friggin' thing. I was just, I was just going to say, Jeffy, does it make you happy Jeff, that he might finish the series Jeff, now? The man is old. He can only write so much. Five years, dude. Five years. Yeah, he's he's gonna be old. He won't block. finish it. He'll be dead before. Call the block. Robert Jordan. Well, Robert writer's block. Then say it's so writer's block. Right. I just flush the whole thing down the toilet. and Move on. Screw it. Flush the whole thing down the toilet. Robert, that's what you're gonna do. <laughs> it's going to be done. No reason we'll finish it. Uh, he's such a bummer when it comes to stuff he likes. Uh, moving on, the Green Hornet. The Green Hornet, uh, you know, Dynamite has done so many books on the Green Hornet. They said to themselves, what's one more? Let's add another <laughs> What's one more? Pile. So this crummy movie comes out, and they say, you know what? We don't have, we don't have a comic that tells what happens after the crummy movie. But they're going to fix that. Jay Nitz and Nigel Rayner are going to do a series called Green Hornet Aftermath. Afterbirth? Actually, after, actually, Afterbirth? Dynamite no, hasn't really made it clear movie. whether it's a series or a one-shot, but it follows the action in the Probably film. a series. In the ma nah, mini Oh, it's mini probably a series. Mini it's probably a mini-series because critical reviews notwithstanding, the Green Hornet film made money. Okay, And well, so we're okay. going to get another some, one anyway. Made some money. It, it's so it's comfortable. Yeah. People overseas apparently love it. Yeah, oh, sure. people have come into the store have said, you know, in the original Green Hornet, I haven't seen the movie. They say in the original Green Hornet, you know, Britt Reed could like fight, and in this one, he's just stupid. <laughs> That's what you get when you have Seth Rogen playing the Green Hornet. And, and I look at him, I go, well, you know, like, you know <laughs> I didn't make it. And when people tell me so, stuff like that, I go, well, I only watched the show for Kato. I didn't give a crap about the Green mm, Hornet. There you go. Great. There you go. Uh, moving over to Dark Horse. Dark Horse is doing the Strange Case of Mr. Hyde limited series, Ooh. which will take not just one. One, but two what? Victorian franchises that you know and put them together into one book. Sense and sensibility? Jack the Ripper <laughs> will face off against Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Woo! Wow. Three people! In a cage How book. are they going to fit yeah. all three of them in the room together? Oh, I don't know. They're going to say the Green Gables fit it. Now, the series is the creation of screenwriter Cole Haddon, who wrote... Yes. What? what did he write? You ever heard of the, who wrote the Blacklist? Yes, the black yeah. list, the, the list Hollywood blacklist, yeah. 1950s. That list, no, that list of scripts that are so really, really good that, that they never that get turned into makes movies. Them? Yeah. Well, apparently had no. I hadn't heard that. Yeah, there was. You don't get out much. That's why. Well, I'm uh, here in the Indie Alley. You, no. You, you, <laughs> Hyde was a script that Haddon wrote that was on the blacklist a couple years ago, and so okay. this is his chance to get his production yes, like out in 
going from, on a, the racks, from a feature film script to a comic book. And movie. then if it gets on the racks, <laughs> the people will go, hey, didn't you write that script? And then someone will go, he's trying, yes. to, he's trying to get it out via the back door. And the back the truth door, is, yeah. that's the only way to get made. Yeah, probably. Back door. Okay. Because okay. you ever seen that blacklist? It's, it's 10 scripts on it. None of them ever get made because they're either too small, too insular, too cerebral, or too cerebral, or the films that if they got made wouldn't make any money. So. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, over at IDW, they're doing a sequel, comic book sequel to Thirty Days of Night. A new one. Oh yeah, Joe R. Lands. This is indie news. It's important. Huh? Yes. What? Thirty Days of Night. Sam Keith. Yo, family. yo, Sam yo, Sam yo, Miles. yo! Right there. Focus. Joe Lansdale, Sam Keith. The series will take place at a science facility in the Alaskan wild. It will introduce right. some brand new characters. It's called, 30, like it's called 30 Days of Night, Night Again. 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 <laughs> and our last story, our last story involves Disney Pixar and how Boom had this wonderful plan to do a kid's magazine and it's just all turned to, to hell in a handbasket. Well, well, what happened to the plan well, for the kid's know, magazine? Disney, you know, Disney was there and they, yeah. they went to the people at Boom and they said, why don't you do comics based on our characters? And then, yes. Then all of a sudden the people at Disney went, hey, is yes. that Marvel over there? Yes. Yeah, we own them. Let's buy them. I think we'll buy them. Yes, we'll buy them. And so this week, Marvel announced a Disney Pixar Presents magazine. Yes. Which will basically take the Boom material <laughs> already been in print and print it up in a monthly magazine. <laughs> and so Boom Kids, <laughs> Boom Kids is now going to be renamed Kaboom! <laughs> What does that writing on the wall yeah. say? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Boom Entertainment. Now, that rename line will have Muppet Show cartoonist Roger Langridge created an all-age title called Snarked. They're also doing something comic-related with Charles Schultz's Peanuts character. The only problem oh, with renaming Boom what? Kids Kaboom is Rob Liefeld. Yes. Jeff Loeb. Yes. And Jeff Matsuda. Yes. Created a character named Kaboom. Yes, they did. They just reprinted the entire run of it last year. Back about 10 years ago right. when they were doing uh, the Jack Kirby Captain America thing. Not Captain America. It was, but, yeah, uh, it was one, uh, of many, uh, one of the many... Fighting American. Fighting American. It was one of the many incarnations of Rob Leffel's line. So Leffel, yes. when he found out... He was doing Fighting doing, American when they did They're that. doing Kaboom. He goes, uh, I own the copyright for that title. And so chances are they're going to rename Boom Kids into something else. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. Well, as we've talked about before, uh, Boom has got to figure out what they want to do with their kids' line because the day is coming when they will lose Muppets and Pixar and Mickey Mouse and all of them back over to Marvel because when they started doing all that, as you just said, Marvel was What's not owned by Disney, but they're owned by Disney now, and when those contracts run out, Marvel's going to get them back. And apparently the Cars franchise contract ended first. Oh. As, an Italian, as an Italian American, might I suggest a bada boom? A bada boom. A bada boom. A bada boom. Shaboom. Shaboom. Okay, and that's it. We're done. We're finished right here. We got no more Nothing. indie news, but you can go to the store's Nate. website and you can, you can check out all of the indie news that Bo here sends me that oh, I post. I actually, JR sends it. And if I only I knew where the website was. Oh. Well, okay. Uh, you would play Jerry all these years? I've been playing Jerry. We have a working agreement about that. Oh, like Woody Allen's the front. Yeah. Like gotcha. Does he know what plagiarism means? Gotcha. Does he know what that means? Gotcha. Yeah, he got all the <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean. <laughs> and where's the store's website at? Sarah! Okay. www.myalternatereality.com So can I go home now? So go to the store's website, check out all his news, and until next time, this is Comic Book Man. Bo. And JR. Saying. Bye! Yeah. Alternate Reality is located at 3149 West 111th Street. That's the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in Chicago, the beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood neighborhood. You can always reach us at 773-881-HERO or at the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.